of the great and the late and the legendary Charlie Pride. And in a few minutes, I'll be talking to him, of course. Uh, when you hear the name Pride, you immediately think of Charlie, but his younger brother is just every bit as good. He is a legend in his own right, I have to say. Carved out his own path in country music. He shared the stage with the likes of Willie Nelson, Ricky Van Shelton, Barbara Mandrell, and many, many more. And we'll be talking to him about his life and times in just a few minutes, and in the studio as well, as our very own Tommy Rosney. Further, a big thanks to Donna Marie Doherty for the news. The news team will be back in the morning uh, and bright and early with all the latest national and international and local news as well. <music> Want to get in touch with us? We are live on Facebook <music> and Instagram and Twitter. Reach is also on the Highland Radio app and WhatsApp and text number 08660 25000. And of course, getting off, getting the show off to a start this evening, of course, is Stephen Pride. From his album, uh, and it's called Pride on the Wild Side, an album that was recorded back in 2005. to hear from you. Good to have your company. And Stephen, you're very welcome along to the show. Well, thank you very much, Rosemary. It's a great, great pleasure to have you here indeed. It's a pleasure being here. And, thank you. Uh, and um, you, of course, you're playing down in the Mount Ergill tonight. Yes. As well as uh, the Country Awards is on. Isn't that right, Tommy? That's right, tonight, the Country Awards is. Uh, yeah, yeah. And uh, you're a special guest at the Country Awards tonight. Yes, that's correct. And you're playing your own show tomorrow night. Correct. Okay, we're going to talk to you about your life and your music and when you grew up in, in Mississippi. Um, so tell me about when you were young and you were growing up, uh, Stephen. Uh, when I was growing up, I was, I guess, uh, we lived on a sharecropper's farm uh, until I was five years old. And then my father moved us, my sister and I. Uh, he remarried and moved to Lambert from Sledge. And uh, I grew up basically in Marks in Lambert, Mississippi. I was also born in Marks, Mississippi. Mm -hmm. So while growing up, the, those were my areas of growing up and, mm -hmm. and developing. Mm -hmm. And sharecroppers, sharecroppers, it must have been a tough kind of life. Because yes, it, it was. It was quite a demanding and uh, challenging work. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. For people probably that are listeners that doesn't know us about what sharecroppers mean, it means that you actually get part of your crop to the to, to the 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 um, landowner is it? Yes, That's the way it works. In order to facilitate yeah. uh, success from mm -hmm. from the good Lord giving you a crop, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know. So there that that must have been tough enough to say the crop failed a uh, winter or whatever it was, yes. or yes. yeah, it'd been tough enough. Yeah. Yes. Okay. When you moved, things were we we were you still working on on sharecropping or was it a different? No, it wasn't. I never actually. Oh, you know. I I was a child during yeah. that time, but. Oh, yeah. My dad, he uh, actually, when moved, mm -hmm. he involved with other works, other, uh, uh, he was a school bus driver, and, mm -hmm. and just like I said, by mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. by his own craft, his own skills, he was mm -hmm. also a carpenter and a barber, oh, very good. as well as a school bus driver. Mm -hmm. And you were brought up? Uh, in Lambert, Mississippi, and I went to school in Marks. Mm -hmm. And I also was born in Marks, Mississippi. Uh -huh. Very good. So you were brought up? Um, through music, weren't you? Music was in your family? Yes. Mm -hmm. Listening to country music, of course. Yes. My yeah. dad, our dad did. Yeah. He listened uh -huh. to the Grand Ole Opry. Uh huh. Yeah. But, but you know, like I said, uh, he that was his only music that he listened to other than gospel. Yeah. Uh huh. And tell me, um, you met Charlie. You were telling me earlier you met Charlie when you were eight years old. You know, there's 20 years, 21 years of difference in the both of you. Um, yeah. Yeah. And you yeah. met Charlie when you were eight years yeah. old. Very good. Yeah, I first met my brother when, uh, anyway, Mac and, yeah. and Charlie when uh, yeah. I was eight. Because of course they were away working. Of course. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Yes. And they yeah. were. Yes. You they were, were away. Yeah. Yes. Wow. 
So you, when you first, tell me when you first heard Charlie singing. Oh, that was great. It was on, um, first heard him singing on the Lawrence Welk show, the Lawrence Welk show. Mm -hmm. my, my stepmother and I were sitting mm -hmm. in front of the TV and looking at the program. And uh, I'm going to mention that tomorrow night, too. There's, there's a few really uh, lovely uh, stories I have to, to, at, about home and him coming home. But anyway, to continue, uh, we were looking at the Lawrence Welk show, and, and uh, my brother was on TV, and Lawrence Welk introduced him. And he came on, and he did one of his songs. And 10 minutes later, there's a knock on the door in the front porch, and it's my brother. Well. <laughs> he had dro driven down from Nashville. Wow. And uh, I'm trying to, I'm looking, here I am looking at him on TV. And then he's coming in the house, stepping in the house. <laughs> and I'm trying to figure out, well, how is that possible? How can he be there and here at the same time? <laughs> and see, that's all prior to me knowing about technology, you know. Yeah, yeah, I'm young, I'm a kid, child, you know, didn't yeah. know no better. Of course, yeah. Well, tell me this. Uh, then... When did you start to sing? When did you start it actually? Six years old. Si really? Six yeah. years old. Singing country music, yeah? No, not country music. Gospel. I started realizing I had the ability, ability. and the blessed talent to sing. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Wow. Well, at six. At six, you imagine, yeah. And Charlie started at eight, actually, because uh, his mother bought him a, a guitar when he was about eight years old. And, um, yeah, or maybe ten, was it, Tommy, I think? Around I think it was 10. Yeah, I think it was, right. yeah, think it was 10, maybe, yeah. yeah. And um, he started to sing in then, so, um, yeah. So when did you start it, to sing in then? Oh, in for, I'm sorry. Let me correct that. He was 14. Oh, was he? Right, yeah. okay. He was okay. 14 when she when he got the Sears Roebuck guitar. Wow, yeah. very good. Mm -hmm. He uh -huh. taught himself to, to, to play. play the chords, yeah. play and everything. Do you play the guitar yourself? Yes. Yeah, wow. Yes. When did you start yourself playing guitar? Uh, 83. Wow, very good. So when did you start then um, singing professionally yourself? Uh, 84, 85. Oh, yeah, right, okay. And then did you ever sing along with your brother? Or oh, you, yes. You, 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 wow, you yes. used to join him in but concerts. We, this, this is during, when he, later on in the later years, where yes. he was gracious enough, and I love him for that, mm -hmm. he took me on tour with him. Oh, absolutely brilliant! Yeah. But we sang we sang together a couple of times at home. You know, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm talking about for the general public. Yeah, uh -huh. gospel music is a big part of your life as well, wasn't it? Oh yes. Yeah, you grew up with gospel. Didn't yes. You? Yeah. Back then, it was mm -hmm. everywhere. Yeah, of course. All families had yeah. that vein. Yeah. Yeah, gospel vein. Yes. A lot of the country music stars, anyway, started off in gospel music, didn't they? Yeah. Well, uh, history-wise, I'm I'm not as. Yeah. I'm not as versed on mm -hmm. the actual uh, mm -hmm. situation, but I would only assume that all of those genres of music were pretty much connected, mm -hmm. you know? Okay, tell me about your CD, uh, uh, Pride on the Wild Side. Pride on the Wild Side became uh, in existence, uh, like you said, late 2004, early 2005. Uh, I had done a Nashville a session back in 99, 2000, of six songs that were kind of like sitting a little bit for uh, my producer at the time was handling other major artists. Mm -hmm. And uh, in 2004, later part of 2000, earlier part of 2005, I went back to Nashville and let my producer, mm -hmm. Jim Glenn Pace, uh, mm -hmm. we got together and comprised and I listened to a lot of songs, and I picked out of about maybe 280 to 300 songs, just listening to songs, and I managed to come up on six to add to the other six that I had done previously. Mm -hmm. And so we that's how that album became. Mm -hmm. uh, I love the album. You, you have another album out as well, don't you? You recorded another uh, album as well, didn't you? Not, a, not, a, not an entire album. I, mm -hmm. There's a single that, from what is being... Uh, recognized here in Ireland that I did when I was in Norway. Mm -hmm. I recorded this, uh, I recorded one of my brother's hits, Crystal Chandelier in yeah. Christensen, Norway. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
Oh, wow, well, very good. Yeah. Uh, the, the, the CDs are kind of a blend of country melodies that kind of rip your heart out, that kind of um, honky-tonk kind of... Yeah, I yeah. can't remember the the uh, the reporter who actually made that, that assumption or made that, you know, mm-hmm. narrative, mm-hmm. but I considered it to be a, a group of... Uh, a combination of uh, songs that had a meaning and it and it told stories but it had different nice melodies mm-hmm. you see yeah and the instrumentation was quite complimentary i mm-hmm. thought i'll be playing tracks from that cd now throughout the show even when you go on yeah. because mm-hmm. really and truly it's my featured i do a featured artist on the show every single week i feature one american artist mm-hmm. and um i play tracks throughout the show from that artist so that's what i'll be doing tonight and we'll expect some of the same on Wednesday, will we, from that CD? Um, actually, I, I'm. This is a short promotional tour mm-hmm. and tribute to yeah, Charlie, Charlie, to my brother, mm-hmm. and to all the fans that love him so much and have been so kind and loving to him, mm-hmm. and for him to be the same, mm-hmm. giving back to them mm-hmm. since he's been a part of Ireland for so many years. Mm-hmm. This basically was uh, an idea that was prompted through Hugh O'Brien to mm-hmm. give back mm-hmm. to the country of Ireland, to the fans of Ireland. Mm-hmm. To, as And this was a, a short promotional tour that's going to uh, reflect that. Absolutely brilliant. Looking forward to that. Tommy, you're going to... But away. to answer your question, yeah. um, we haven't... Uh, the band... I did not send them any of my songs. Mm -hmm. This is a total tribute to my brother. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, right, okay. And have you got your own band with you? No, ma'am. No, yeah, no. These are these are artists from Ireland. From an, uh, right, okay, very good. You're you're a very spiritual person, Stephen. Well, I believe in God. I believe believe in Jesus Christ. Yes, I would say yes. Uh, You, yeah, you, 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 you said, and I quote, "You draw unto the Lord to guide you." Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Every day, I ask that. Yeah, absolutely brilliant. Very good. Okay, um, Char- I know you have to go, and um, I know that uh, you, to me, you you sound like Charlie. You just when you were singing that song, Crystal Chandeliers. Tell me, what do you think? Rosemary, can I just say, I heard him doing a sound check earlier today for the song he's singing tonight. Mm-hmm. And if that's anything to go by, that show he's going to be doing tomorrow night down in... in the Mount Argyll will be some show. Uh-huh. And uh, he's in Bundoran next Wednesday night. He's doing yeah. uh, a few gigs around the country, but I'm uh-huh. telling you, just looking at him at stage, looking at him on stage and hearing his voice, you're saying, I know yeah. that voice. Yeah, and like, course, as yeah. I said to That's Stephen... Right. Well, thank you, Tony. As I yeah. said to Stephen yeah. myself when I was talking to him on Friday night, I said, you know, it's grand having the talent and that. And, you know, I asked him the story about, you know, would he ever feel people would be judging him on his brother? But if you haven't got... It yourself, and he is it in abundance. Let me tell That's you, what I'm saying. yeah, abundance. absolutely, yeah, absolutely. And you sound so very. You have your own unique style. He has his own unique yeah. style as well, Tommy. But he does sounds. Once you hear him, you know you can hear Charlie's voice coming through. Oh yes, as well. yeah, yeah. It's the genetics and plus. Yeah. Now, now I'm sure he's probably doing that. Yeah, yeah absolutely. And uh, you know, up above, you know. I was talking to him earlier, and you were saying that you're very like Charlie in every way. Yeah, uh, wow. And and you you have different traits and you, you just like Charlie, you know. But yeah, uh, yeah Charlie was so funny. Remember and you Charlie? know, it's great. It's great to see uh, Stephen like that too, because you you know the way yourself, Rosemary, the way our country music is going these days. Mm-hmm. It's great to see a young man. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. No, he is a young man, isn't he? He's younger than me anyway. But it's great to see him keeping the traditional <laughs> sound, the steel, and yep. that because. Nashville has gone to hell lately. Yeah, well, As we were, Stephen we were was at, saying to me yeah. the other night, Texas is the place to be these days. Absolutely. Oh, we, yes. were, we were actually oh, yes. talking, we were discussing that earlier on about oh, yes. uh, the song that um, Alan Jackson and, and George Strait wrote, Murder and Music Row. Murder Rome. and Music Row, And yeah. uh, I was asking him about what he thought about the um, the, um, the, the the music in Nashville at the moment, you know, but uh, he, was, he, he was saying he's not going to say any, anything about it on air. <laughs> At the moment, but anyway. any any American artist that I mentioned it to the, mm. the the kept gracefully, you know, they wouldn't say as such. I yeah. agree with you, but yeah, yeah, yeah. they yeah. do it the same. Yeah, absolutely. And he was saying Nashville's not the same at all now. As you go to, you know yourself, I'm Tommy, worried. and it isn't the same. But anyway, um, it's great to have you with us. 
Hey, uh, I appreciate you having me. Absolute pleasure. Thank you for having you. me. I really you, appreciate you it. You were very, very welcome. I know you, you're yeah. busy and you had, took the time out to come up yeah. from the Mount Ergel and you're, you're, you're going to play now in a little while or you're going yeah. to perform a little while. So, again, thank you very much and I want to wish you the very best of luck with your tour. Thank you very much. And we will see you on, on uh, Wednesday night because um, I'm going on Wednesday night. I'll probably go down awesome. to later as well for a little while. I look forward to it. Yeah. All right then. Uh, Stephen, thanks very much again. You're quite welcome. Okay. Thank you. And enjoy the night. And Tommy, thanks for coming in as well. I'm more than welcome. All right.